I'm taking you to Cartier to shop with me. I will show you what's available in the Cartier boutique in Paris, and I'll share their price details as always. I will also tell you the price differences and the VAT refund percentage for different amount of spending. Leave me a comment on your favorite piece. Let's get right into the video. Let's take a look on what's available in the boutique right now. One nice thing I really love about the Cartier boutiques in Paris is that they have their price tag right next to each piece so you know the price immediately without even researching or asking. All the prices you see here is in Euro. Let me tell you their VAT refund policy for different spending when you are browsing the prices for each pieces here. For any spending below 50,000 Euro, you get a regular 12% VAT refund. However, if your spending is over 50,000 euro, your SA will be able to apply for a 16% VAT refund for you, which is quite significant if you are considering any big purchases like any paved diamond pieces. Overall, from my comparison for a couple pieces, I don't think the price difference between the US and France is that big. For example, the small Clash the Cartier bracelet I'm interested in is currently retail for 7,000 USD and the price in Paris is 7,550 euro. So it'll be 6,644 euro with a VAT refund, which is about $7,076. When you come back to the US, you pay a bit tax when you go through the custom. So in the end, the price difference is really not that much. To me personally, I'm much more happier to purchase the pieces in the US instead of having to carry it back. What do you think? Here you can see the price for love cuff and love bracelet in gold and white gold. And the love ring. If you are a long term subby of my channel, you know that I have tons of Cartier shopping vlog on my channel already and I'd be honest that I feel I have already tried on so many Cartier pieces for you so I definitely wanted to try on something fun and something that I had never tried on before including pieces from the Eclu the Cartier collection. Here you can see the price for different pieces from the Just Uncool collection, which is indeed one of my favorite from Cartier. Love the diamond Just Uncool ring and also the double koi Just Uncool ring as well. Here you can see the price for different pieces from the Love collection. The paved diamond love bracelet. How pretty is this love necklace? Here you can see the price for different pieces from the Trinity collection. And the price for my beloved Clash the Cartier pieces here. While you are enjoying these eye candies and checking out their prices, let me show you the fun pieces I tried on today and my thoughts on these pieces as well. If you want the regular love look and also really easy to put on and take off, the love cuff is something you could consider comparing to the regular love and the love small. The love cuff with one diamond here is currently retail for 6,300 euro. The diamond here is 0.1 carat. While it's not a piece for me, if you watched my popular designer jewelry I won't buy in Y video, it's still really good to check it out in person. Some of you recommended the Eclu de Cartier bracelet to me. It's in the rose gold and size 17. It's definitely very cool and edgy design and it's currently retail for 7,850 euro here. The smaller size will definitely fits me better. I'm just not sure how it looks together with my other two pieces that I brought with me for this trip. What do you think? 
Will you consider the Eclu bracelet? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. The Eclu collection also has the Eclu the Cartier ring available. This one has 30 baguette cut diamonds totaling for about 1.21 carats. The ring is currently retail for $17,600. I'm surprised by the price difference between the diamonds and no diamonds as the same ring with no diamonds is currently retail for 2,620 euro. It's not like the diamonds are so significant here. I probably wouldn't want to pay for the 15,000 euro just for the diamonds here. What do you think? I do think the bracelet looks really good together with the ring. Perhaps my next piece should be a just on clue ring. What do you think? The Pantier de Cartier bracelet in yellow gold onyx set with two Savore garnets is such a statement piece of its own. It's currently retail for 23,400 euro. In Paris, Pantier is always so Cartier and I think it's a really stunning bracelet. This Pantier de Cartier bracelet in yellow gold onyx set with two emeralds and 225 brilliant cut diamonds totaling about 2.55 carats is currently retail for 60,500 euro. Seriously, what an amazing piece. And I think a diamond makes this piece even stands out more. This size 16 is too big on me, and I do think that size 15 will fit me better. If you are considering any pieces like this one, it's definitely better to get the piece here in Paris since the bad refund would be 16% on this piece. I seriously think the diamond one looks so amazing. If I get a piece like this, I will wear it on its own instead of stacking. What do you think of these two pieces? Diamond or no diamond? Leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this as well. Remember the Pantier watch I was interested? Here is the small and the mini size comparison side by side. The mini is 3,350 euro and the small size is 4,200 euro. Mini is more like a bracelet and the small is more leaning toward the watch. I think I prefer the small size, what do you think? This one is the Pantera watch in the medium size in two-tone and the rose gold set with diamonds and it's currently retail for 14,300 euro. It's a really stunning watch and the video doesn't do its justice. I love how the rose gold complementary to my rose gold and yellow gold bracelets here. Here is the side by side comparison for the medium size and the small size Pantera watch. Which size is better between the medium and the small? I was really happy that I got a chance to check out these pieces in person. Also find out that the price difference is not huge after that refund and the exchange rate etc. The final price you pay is slightly cheaper than the price in the US after that refund paying customs and the exchange rate. It's just that the difference is not huge. Unless you're purchasing items over 50,000 euro, I personally would prefer to buy it here in the States. I have tons of exciting luxury shopping vlogs are coming to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye!